In a stunning demonstration of military innovation and regional power projection, Iran has officially unveiled its newest ballistic missile, the Qasem Basir. This strategic weapon isn't just another addition to the Islamic Republic's growing arsenal. It represents a significant leap in technological capability, precision warfare, and defense strategy. With unmatched precision, maneuverability, and resistance to modern electronic warfare, this new missile is a clear signal of the Islamic Republic's evolving military doctrine. But what makes the Qasem Basir so significant? How does it work? In this video, we'll unpack everything you need to know about this advanced missile system. From its groundbreaking specifications and battlefield performance, to its strategic implications for the region and beyond. The announcement of the Qasem Basir missile comes amidst heightened geopolitical tensions. Indirect negotiations between Iran and the United States have stalled, and inflammatory rhetoric from the U.S. has once again taken center stage. Recently, the U.S. Secretary of Defense issued military threats. In response, Iran's Minister of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics sent a powerful message. If we are attacked or if a war is imposed on us, we will respond with power. We will strike their interests and their bases, and in this regard, we will not show any hesitation or limitation. This statement set the stage for the dramatic unveiling of the Qasem Basir A missile that symbolizes Iran's commitment to deterrence and its confidence in its domestic defense industry. Qasem Basir isn't just a missile, it's a symbol of next-gen engineering, and it's a leap forward built upon decades of research and real-world combat data. Its development integrates indigenous innovations in materials science, propulsion engineering, and advanced terminal guidance. Let's break down the physical profile of the Qasem Basir. Range, 1,300 kilometers, covering almost all U.S. bases in the Middle East and Israel. Material, lightweight carbon composite body to reduce radar signature and enhance velocity. Propulsion, solid fuel engine for faster launch readiness and transportability. Warhead high explosive payload with maneuvering capabilities launch platform road mobile transporter erector launcher tel deployable from underground missile cities the design prioritizes survivability rapid launch and resistance to detection all crucial in modern asymmetric warfare most remarkable is the missiles dual phase guidance system it uses inertial navigation during mid-flight then switches to an electro-optical seeker in the terminal phase. This allows it to visually identify, track, and strike its target even amidst decoys. This missile identifies its designated target among multiple targets and hits it without deviating even by one meter. Unlike GPS-reliant missiles, Qasem Basir is impervious to GPS jamming or spoofing. This independence from satellite networks provides a strategic advantage against adversaries with superior electronic warfare capabilities. A major highlight of the missile is its maneuverable warhead. In its final seconds, the warhead can shift trajectory mid-air. This makes the Qasem Basir extremely difficult to intercept, even for top-tier air defense systems like the American Patriot, THAAD, and the Israeli Arrow, all while resisting radar tracking and electronic jamming. Such agility in the terminal phase requires high-end algorithms and robust control systems, indicating substantial advances in Iran's missile guidance architecture. According to official sources, the last operational test of the Qasem Basir was conducted on April 16th. The missile was launched from a distance of over 1,200 kilometers, successfully striking its target with less than one meter deviation, even under intense electronic jamming. Very intense electronic jamming was conducted against this missile, and it had no effect. This level of reliability builds on lessons learned from Iran's True Promise 1 and True Promise 2 operations. In these operations, despite Israeli interception attempts, Iranian missiles penetrated defenses with success. According to Iranian sources, with the new upgrades, future interception rates could fall to less than 5 missiles out of 200 to 300. The Qasem Basir shifts the strategic equation. With a 1,300 kilometer range, the Qasem Basir puts U.S. military bases in the region, Israeli territory, and regional targets well within reach. The message is clear. Iran is bolstering its deterrence capability and asserting that any aggression will be met with overwhelming retaliation. 
By deploying this missile across all underground missile cities, Iran enhances its second strike capability and creates a highly resilient deterrent. As regional dynamics evolve, the unveiling of Qasem Basir marks not just a technological leap, but a strategic statement. With the Qasem Basir, Iran is signaling a new era one in which it can develop precision, survivable, and independently guided long-range weapons under sanctions and cyber sabotage. The Qasem Basir missile represents more than military advancement. It's a message. A message of autonomy, deterrence, and strategic depth. Whether it strengthens Iran's hand in diplomacy or not, only time will tell. What do you think about the unveiling of the Qasem Basir? Is it a stabilizing force and strategic deterrent or not? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Like and share for more in-depth military content and subscribe for defense insights. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.